so this big crowd at Brandon waiting for the start of heat number five and the rider holding up proceedings John Davis who has had two races in successive heats he's coming into grid one with two points after his first ride next to him in blue we have Peter Collins and PC has one point and it's interesting to note that with all the riders having completed one race we haven't got one of the Collins boys in the top eight at the moment so the clan from Cheshire have a lot of work to do Grid 3 has Kenny Carter, two points so far in white on the outside. Andy Graham from Birmingham in yellow and black helmet colour. He has two points so far. Here we go for Heat 5. Collins in Grid 2 really looking for points. The other three have opened steadily enough. And so here we go for Heat number 5. And from the inside, Davis has gone away. Davis leads it, gets a knock, and my word, Andy Graham took a terrible knock there in the first corner. Davis leading now, is getting terribly tired as Carter comes bustling and hustling under Peter Collins. And Carter's moved into second place. Davis is in front. Carter is second. Peter Collins is third. We've lost Andy Graham, and well, Carter really forcing his way to the front there. He now moves into the lead. Second place, Davis. Third is Peter Collins and Andy Graham, the reigning champion, well out of it, nearly a lap behind, as now Peter Collins comes charging after John Davis, who led from the start, but allowed Carter to come through. And this is going to be interesting to look at, this one again, as Davis looks around for the attack from Peter Collins. And here comes Collins looking for points desperately. He's only got one so far. Back in third place, Davis holds him out. There's the battle for second place. Carter's a mile in front. And Peter Collins must make his big effort now. But Davis is going to hold him. Over the line, a win for Carter. Second, Davis. Third, Peter Collins. An eventful heat five. Andy Graham, first of all, you want to talk to the referee. What about? Yeah, I've got to go and talk to the referee because that start I thought it was diabolical. Well, just show you very quickly before you slide off. We're a fair start. Now, I was off gate four there, and Kenny says it was a fair start, but it wasn't. It was just what you see, I'm what coming gone? straight to you. Yeah, but yeah, and I had to move out. See, so he, he moved, you know, deliberately. Well, not right, deliberately. I, I, just, look at John. I, I had to go around, John, didn't I? You know, all right, I'm not saying it was anybody's fault. The referee should have had well, four. You go and talk to the referee and tell us what happens. <laughs> Kenny, what about your overtaking in that? Because there are three very vital points for you. Well, I think I, I, mean, I, I, think I were lucky, really, because. I, I sort of made a start along with John, and then John moved out, and you can see there, Peter sort of got stuck, and then I come in, and we sort of, we all got stuck. I think me and Peter nearly fell off then. I mean, I were lucky to stop on, and I'm sure Peter was in. But in the end, you, you got your act together? Well, you know, I'm just, just pleased that I got a win in that race, and three more will do. Well, the reigning British champion, Andy Graham, can't be too happy with life because his protest to the referee came too late, so there's no score from him from his second outing, and he won't be too happy about that.